I keep hearing people say state of charge affects acceleration in the Model 3 the most. While state of charge does affect acceleration, the temperature of the battery mid-pack is the single most important factor for determining how fast the Model 3 performance will accelerate. This video will show you why that is. The absolute quickest acceleration in the Model 3 performance is achieved when the battery pack temperature is between 125 to 137 degrees Fahrenheit. The state of charge is 100% and the motors are as cold as possible. That will give you a max discharge value of 629 horsepower or 462 kilowatts at the battery. However, this video will look at the cases where those parameters are not at their optimal values. If state of charge drops to 87%, but battery temperatures remain at 135 degrees Fahrenheit, the max discharge value will still be 615 horsepower. That is only a 2% drop in performance, even with less than 90% state of charge. However, if we raise the state of charge from 87 to 89% and drop the temperatures in the battery down to 42 degrees Fahrenheit or 5.8 degrees Celsius, then the max discharge value will drop all the way down to 365 kilowatts or 496 horsepower. That would be a massive 20% decrease in performance from the battery temperature alone. In this case, we have increased the state of charge by 2%, but lost 10 times the amount of performance because the battery is cold. I can't stress this enough. Battery temperatures affect acceleration so much that the battery state of charge becomes almost irrelevant if the battery is cold. To illustrate this point even further, I tested this with a state of charge of 55% and the battery temperature at 122 degrees Fahrenheit. The max discharge rate was 570 horsepower. That is almost 70 horsepower greater than the cold battery at 89%. Imagine keeping up with someone at 89% state of charge when you only had 55% state of charge. At 76% state of charge with the battery at 119.3 degrees Fahrenheit, you still can achieve a 598 horsepower max discharge value. That is only 5% of the absolute maximum acceleration potential with one quarter of the battery gone. Even if we go down to 32% state of charge with more normal 88.7 degrees Fahrenheit battery, we can still have a 511 horsepower max discharge value. We can go as low as 16% state of charge with a 118.4 degree battery and still have a 496 horsepower max discharge value. That equals the 496 horsepower we saw in the earlier example with an 89% state of charge and 42 degrees Fahrenheit battery. You can get a similar max discharge value from 16% state of charge as you can with 89% state of charge in this scenario. This really is important to stress to everyone. However, I must also tell you that my testing has shown that the effects of heating the battery don't come into play until after 40 miles per hour. If you heat the battery hoping to see 20% or more improvement in 0 to 60 miles per hour, it won't happen. Cold motors are actually more important for 0 to 60 miles per hour in the Model 3 performance. Once you pass 40 miles per hour, and especially after you hit the peak horsepower at 55 miles per hour, you will see a significant increase in performance regardless of the state of charge. The lowest max discharge value I've seen was 351 horsepower at 6% state of charge when I drove 283 miles without charging in my two-year-old Model 3 performance. I still had 18 miles left of range too. However, the car was extremely slow at that point. However, there is one benefit to a low state of charge. The max regen braking capabilities only occur at a lower state of charge with a hot battery. In sport mode, you will only see about 116 horsepower of regen with a fully preconditioned battery. However, in track mode with 118.4 degrees Fahrenheit battery and with 16% battery state of charge, I saw 241 horsepower of regen braking capabilities. That is extremely strong braking from regen alone. It is important to also understand that the scenarios I have displayed here only apply to the Model 3 performance. Battery temperature may not affect the long-range car's acceleration in exactly the same way. Eventually, I'd like to test non-performance models and even the Model X and Model S to see how temperature affects those cars. I've seen several videos that indicate that the Model S Plaid is capable of achieving more than 1,100 horsepower at the battery if conditions are optimal. However, that car in particular really needs cold motors and better tires for optimal performance.